I want to convert the JSON data to table format. So I press the escape button. Yes, save it. So this is my JSON data. So this JSON data, now I want converting into structure format. How can I convert this JSON data to structure format? So this JSON data also seems like an XML file. Seems like an XML file. We are converting this JSON data to table format. The same four step strategy is there now. Same four step strategy is common. And at the same time, separate inbuilt functions. Inbuilt functions are available to handle this type of XML data. What inbuilt functions are available to handle XML JSON data? Right. I'm logging into another VM, another terminal. I'm opening. I'm logging into Hive. Enter. Show functions. Enter. Yeah, these are the list of functions. So yesterday we already discussed about XPath, Boolean, everything. But today, especially for JSON data, yes, this is a function. Get JSON object. G. Yes. Get JSON object. This is a function especially designed to process JSON data purpose only. So what is this functionality? What is the JSON function doing? Describe function function name. Yes. Similarly like Exodus. Similarly like XPath. This one also JSON object. The column name path. Extract JSON object from the path. What is the path we are mentioned? The path JSON data is extracting. The path JSON data is extracting. Okay. Now four steps is common now again. Four steps by using Hive function. Function name is get JSON object. Right. So how to clean? Step one, step two. What is the step by step procedure? This is the two objects in your name, age, everything is there. First create a table, table name call one string then load data locking path file name into table table name so here what is my file name local file name json data in this path my file is available remember if the data is there hrefs give me hrefs command loading command select start from table name and create table table name 103 employee name string age this two columns is here two columns and then finally important one insert override table table name set get json object call one dollar dot name get json object call one dollar dot age from one zero two table so here the name and age is the case sense too what is the object's names is there in the file same name we want to give in our query also same name if you give the different name what happened it's throwing an error now it's loading Okay, so what do you mean by dollar? Yes, dollar only here helps to the microser point into the particular particular object. For example, I want to take object names, name object names. So the dollar will take care of the cruiser point into the name object. Same thing I am developed in my VMware. This is my VMware. I am open a notepad. I am writing all the queries. So in your VMware, there is no scripts. How to write? Open a notepad. VI, JSON, S, give me one name. And I'm suggesting you give me extension. But I'm not giving because I already created some scripts. So I'm following like that only. But I'm suggesting you give me extensions in your case. In production environment, I'm giving extensions. Because I want to know the which one is the, which script, scripts, or big scripts. 
I want to know. That's why I'm giving here extension. But here I'm not giving anyway. Open. You see here. Drop table. Drop table not required very much first time in your case. Create table table name. Call to string. Load data local in path. JSON data into table table name. Select a statement. Create table. Insert override table table name. Get JSON object. Column to dollar dot name. Everything is similar. And here I'm setting the header. It will be coming like this. Describe. So escape operator. WQ. Enter. Script is saved. And I want to see the script also. You can see it. Cat. JSON. SA. This is my script. Now I want to run. Hive. Minus F. Script name. Script name is JSON SC. There is no extension. Enter. Yes, here column names is coming. Name, age. We are setting this. This is our column names. We are setting column names. But I say describe table. Then there is no column names. No? That time also column names coming. Call, name, data type, comment. See here. By default, column names also coming. This is our column names. SQL also coming column names. Here also same thing. If I set the header, it is coming column names. Otherwise, it's not coming. And uh, yes, coming to the next point. For example, I will tell you here Hive hyphen E describe JSON 103 table. This is the table just now we're creating. Enter. This is the same table only. One second. Yeah, JSON 103. Enter. So here I have two questions. What do you mean by minus C? What do you mean by Hive? I am not logging into Hive, but I am running a single query. That means if you want to run Hive queries, not required to log into Hive terminal. For example, if I want to run HFS queries, we are logging into HFS terminal. No, we are not logging through HFS through command front to local server only. We are running HFS commands, right? Similarly, if you want to run a single query of Hive query by the help of minus C, Hive minus C, you can run single query. If you want to run a group of queries, go ahead with the minus F script name. If you want to run a Hive single query, you can log into Hive, you can run it. Otherwise, through local server only, not required to log into Hive. By the help of minus C command, you can log, you can run it. That single query. At the same time. If you want to run a group of queries, go ahead with the minus uh, script. Clear? See, I have minus C describe table name, name string. There is no header, but here header is coming. Yes. Clear the minus C also.
come down yeah minus c hive minus c statement any self statement any condition also you can apply it so friends we did right now json data